Also, uh, this black coating of black sand I put on the surface. I don't necessarily need that, but this one happens to have it. That's about an inch and a quarter wide that I have uh, coated the end of the coils with on this one. On, on some other ones, I don't coat it all the way, and I just have the core uh, thickness sticking out. But on this one, it's like this. Here's the other... Uh, I'm making two of these motors actually, so I have another stator plate here, another two stator plates, and I just want to show you, see how they're, they're, they're only, the black sand cores uh, at the tips here are only about a five-eighths of an inch, just less than five-eighths of an inch wide. And uh, I'm just having the black stick out on these, like this. I'm not putting a surface of an inch and a quarter on this one. Just a little neater. I kind of like this better than the other one, but we'll, I don't know what's going to work. I don't think it's going to make much difference, really. So, anyways, this is the other one. And okay, here's the uh, the end plates, the stator end plates. And I have four coils sticking out. I haven't glued them in. And uh, just to show you how these are made, you don't necessarily have to do it like this, that's how I'm doing it. It's half inch acrylic plastic. This is the starboard plastic. I really like this sort of plastic. It's really strong, easy to cut. It's made for marine use. Again, I cut a lot of etches and grooves in this with a Dremel tool before I mount the coils. So I like make sure there's a lot of glue saturated in there and then I put the coils in with a lot of glue around them and I stick them in there and this is interesting I got some uh, tap plastic stores I got some uh, Kevlar carbon fiber weave see that looks pretty cool it's very very strong and I have that sandwiched in between I glued it on one side and uh, and then clamped it together and so uh, it looks cool and it, uh, it's going to be very strong and this is going to mount actually in a car motor this is what's going to mount to a transmission so it's got to be really strong so it's like an inch thick it's probably comparable to like quarter inch thick steel or something I don't know uh, Again, you don't have to do it like this, but it's how I'm doing it.